A manhunt is underway for one of the gunmen accused of murdering a man and a pregnant woman at a Raleigh hotel last week. Police say they arrested the other suspect responsible in the killing. He faced a judge for the first time today. CBS North Carolina's David Hurst has more on the call for the maximum punishment for these killers. They both look a little bit like me, but... All the family of Angel Holland has left to hold on to... She was about nine years old in that picture. ...are pictures and memories of the 22-year-old who was shot and killed last Friday. She was the best person and my best friend. I would never ask for a different sister. Police say Holland and her boyfriend, 28-year-old Dwayne Garvey, were found dead at a Raleigh hotel. They say these two men caught on the hotel surveillance camera shot and killed the couple. I feel hurt. I feel like they took a part of my life also, too, and I will never be the same. A judge denied bond Monday for one of the suspects, Sega Giller. The other suspect, Brandon Hill, is still at large. Police say they almost caught Hill, but he got away after a high-speed chase Sunday. A judge doubled the bond for Hill's girlfriend, who police say was driving the car involved in the chase. The officers attempted to stop her vehicle with the suspect inside, at which point she took off at a high rate of speed. Inside the car, police found guns, including potentially the murder weapon. They say they also found Durham police uniforms, which had been stolen in a breaking of an officer's home last month. I think that was me. As for the family of April Holland, they're now making funeral plans for the woman who they say loved her family, her boyfriend, and her three kids. I always tell April, when we grow old and we get older, we can be there for each other and we can have our kids to grow up with each other and we can do go to simple things, go to the mall, go to the park to take our kids together, do sister things that are normal. And this is all I wanted. Now, police have not yet confirmed a motive for the devil murder, but the family believes it was drug-related.